This is an all-improvised version of the Home Shopping Network. Our two hosts have no idea what products we are about to see, but they will do their best to sell them anyway to you. That's right, you can buy everything you're about to see. Now please welcome your hosts, Mitch Pitchman and Sally Dealer. Woo! (laughs) (laughs) Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep your distance, okay, Sally? We're trying to do a safe show over here. (laughs) Hey, y'all, what's up? Welcome to Selling Out TV. I am Mitch Pitchman. And I am Sally Dealer. (laughs) Yes, sir. We're about to do some uh, super fun, some super high tech, some super big deals for you today, okay? We're going to get some items out here. Um, We were a little busy, right? So we did not get to see what uh, these items are going to be, but... We have been doing this for, for about 20 years, and we'll be able to sell them regardless. Ah, okay. uh, bitch, I'm not even 20 years old, so. Oh, oh oops. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm 18. Yep, oh yeah, it's barely legal, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Um, so uh, it's not just us, you know, we can't put on this show just ourselves as, as, as much as we'd want to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, we also have uh, our, our very generous and uh, handsome uh, producer Glenn is here with us. Uh, that was his beautiful baritone voice you heard in the in the intro. Yeah, I'm here. Let's get to it, guys. Okay. Yeah. Oh, love that Glenn. All business with Glenn. I uh, love okay. Glenn. Glenn, I love you. Hey, Glenn, when are you gonna when are you gonna do some of the pre-show martinis with us, huh? You old square. <laughs> uh, Glenn. <laughs> Never. I don't mess around with talent. Thanks. Yep. Mm-hmm. Glenn, yep. we're going to break you one day, Glenn. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take you to one of our, our uh, annual donkey shows here. One of these, Whoa, one of these look times. out, you'll come out looking like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh my God, and I want to say congratulations to Sally. Sally, you are with child, is that correct? I'm a teen mom. <laughs> yeah, 18 and pregnant. That's a good idea for a show, maybe on a music television network. Call my agent. <laughs> <laughs> How far along are you, Sally? I need to know. Oh, seven plus months. Seven plus. Yeah. So if that's seven plus months, what is this about? Uh, Twenty-seven months. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we, we do have fun here, don't we? Oh my word! Oh, you slay me. <laughs> So let's remind the people at home how this show works. Uh, so we are going to have uh, products come out one at a time, and we are going to sell these products to you, the people at home. You are actually going to literally be able to bid on these in the comments, and you're going to try to buy these items for uh, as low as we try to slash those prices, okay? But uh, if y'all get into a bidding war, that's on yourselves, okay? So this is going to be. Um, Real, real bidding. You're going to get to bid, and you're going to maybe get some of these products to take home for you. And you know? they are quality products. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm taking every fiber of my being to not buy all these myself. Mm, yeah, oh, I know. We are, uh, we're our best customers, you might say. <laughs> I, Oops. I, <laughs> I bought this little ditty. I don't know if you can see it there. It's a little skull. It's a little Ooh, ring. Man. It's a little pinky ring with a skull on it, okay? I'm going through some shit. All right, I'm going it. through some shit. Um, uh, my, uh, my ex-wife has been uh, clamoring for uh, trying to get me to fix the old car that's at the house. So I went ahead and uh, did something for me, okay? And I bought this ring, <laughs> okay? I can do that. I I'm an adult. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, Sally, before we get the product out, uh, we're talking about your baby. Uh, did you ever find out who that daddy was? You know what? Does it matter? Okay, nope. So you still haven't <laughs> found out. That's no totally idea. Fine. That's okay. You know, <laughs> it's not about who the daddy is, it's when the daddy is, right? <laughs> Or where the daddy is. Okay, well, so that is the bigger question is where the daddy is. Okay, this has been enough uh, bullshit from our sides over here. <laughs> like I said, pre-show martinis. So uh, Not for me, though. Oh, no, nope, because she's pregnant. No, nope. she, she just sticks to the old, uh, you know oh, what I mean? Oh, the old. <laughs> the <butt. laughs> Yum, yum, it's from the makers of hummingbird feeder juice. They made a human version. Yeah. <laughs> so she loves that shit. You, I'm not 
it, all of all these years we've been doing this, I have never not seen you with a Bob Blast freeze from Taco Bell. I think that's pretty impressive that you've been able to keep drinking them. I have one in my home. I have a dispenser in my home. Oh my God. And was that something that we sold on the show? <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah. Look at this one over here. Oh, it's about business. Okay, hey, Glenn's getting pissed off, I can tell. Okay, I got, oh, he, he gets that. 100%. I'm I'm, re I'm real pissed off right now. He gets that vein in his head that just starts pumping and it like drowns out. It's like a, it's like the telltale heart, you know, Edgar Allan Poe. It's like that, that this thump and thump. I hear his, his fucking vein going. So we gotta get, we gotta get, we gotta get on schedule here, Sally. Sorry, Glenn. Sorry, Glenn. He is gonna get us one of these days. It's all right. Let's just get back to work. Yep. Let's get that first product out here, okay? Let's see it. First product, please. This is our lovely assistant. This is a production assistant we have. Uh, her name's uh, Abra. And uh, she is, um, she's not super excited to be here. I'm not gonna lie, okay? Her daddy uh, said she needed a job and I did him a favor and she's here now. Um, can you, wait, can you do a little bit more of the Vanna White stuff? Can we, we talk about this, Abra. Off, Abra. Yep. She has no grace. Nope, she got a... Okay. She, she got about all the energy oh. of a bag oh. of leaves, is what I could say. Oh, Abra. Oh. oh. That's that stare. That's it? Okay. All right, take a look at this product. <laughs> Glenn, why don't you tell us what this is? Oh, shit. Glenn, that's Glenn. you. You're usually so serious about your job. There's only one Glenn in the house. Okay. All right, shut up both of you, okay? This is, okay. This is ye old plate. Uh, it's heavy and strange. Uh, hanging on the wall, question mark. You can get this product for $10 or just five easy payments of $2. No returns, no gives these backsies. And yes, that phone number is real. Wow. Yes, if you want to take a call, you want to go ahead and put that, plug that number into your rotary phone, Glenn will pick up the phone Dial. and he'll talk to you. And maybe you can uh, help, him, help him relax that vein from just blowing blood all over the studio. <laughs> what do you think they're going to talk to him about? Oh, I don't know. Maybe uh, uh... It's not that kind of phone line, folks. Oh, that's... You do. It does cost to call, though. <laughs> Man, I think that Baja Blast is really getting into your veins now, I Sally. wired. All right. Oh, uh, Sally, you want to go ahead and tell, tell the people at home uh, about this plate first? What, 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 what do the people at home need to know about this plate? One word to help you guys with this plate, elegance. Okay, like, can you imagine eating your, uh, you can take your hungry man meal and plate it on this after, right? And you, uh, it's got these little men sitting at a table. It's incredible, the detail work on this, the craftsmanship is incredible. It had to have been made by children because the details are so small. <laughs> it's incredible. That are elves. I don't know. Probably both. Baby elves. And oh my, yes. And oh, it says ye old on it. Must be old too. Oh my word. Mitch, you, we, I might have to buy this. No, I can't. Nope, Sally, we off. talked about I've it. I've been okay. cut off. Yep, your, uh, your credit card companies have been calling the station, okay? So we need to ease back on the old purchase power that you got there. Uh, but you people at home, y'all need to unleash the purchase power, okay? Open up them wallets, get on those Venmos, and y'all need to have this. This is a one-of-a-kind piece, okay? Well, that's not true. There's about 17 of them. <laughs> but in this area code, it's one-of-a-kind, okay? Uh, you'd have to go to Stockton, maybe Modesto, to get to get an equal looking plate like this. Okay, but not here, not 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 now. Okay, and uh, Sally, I think you're most correct, mostly correct about the uh, uh, the work is done by children, right? It's that very mm -hmm. nimble finger work. Okay, but I think, and I know this piece. Okay, I, I needed to get a better look at it, but it's actually done by uh, this Italian artist, who um, he. Uh, he was he was a microwave uh, repairman, right? And he 
had a terrible microwave <laughs> accident <laughs> where it ended up, it, both of his hands got shrunk down. Did you, have you ever put a bag of Doritos in the, in the microwave and seen it shrink down like that or shrink it dinks? Oh, every, every, every Wednesday. The same thing. It's like a reverse superhero, okay? The, uh, the microwaves shrunk down his hands to these little tiny nimble fingers, okay? But he's able to do delicate work like you see here, okay? This is good work. Uh, Glenn, how much are we selling this piece for again? Uh, this particular piece uh, is only ten dollars. Ten dollars. Wow. If you buy it for uh, five, you'll be paying a, a two dollars. Uh, the people at home would like to know what kind of material is this, and if it has red paint. Mm. Oh. So, yeah. Well, um, obviously, the paint is lead. I mean, come on, that's the qual. That's what's. But it's co coated. It's gold plated over the lead paint. So you are good to go as far as getting exposed, but that's what gives it that weight though. Mm -hmm. yeah, that good, that it's texture. that solid. <laughs> I, I can say honestly that I'm getting fumes just from the studio lights burning off, <laughs> burn off the top layer, okay? And I'm having a good time, okay? These are, these are the good kind of fumes. You remember the kind you had when you were in high school? This is the good fumes that I'm getting here, okay? That microwave man sure knows how to have a good time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, there's a series of these plates, right? So this is one, uh, take you, what, what are the others? Because you're the expert on this, right? Oh, so what are so the other series of plates? He started with ye old plate, that's the oldest plate. And then he had ye present plate, and then ye new plate. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He's currently working on ye future plate. That's right. Oh, and what is the, I can't remember off the top of my head, what is, what is the scene depicting in the present plate? In the present plate, it's a, it's a man sitting on his couch and he's actually really sunken down in it and he's just littered with takeout boxes and he's wearing a, a, like a little, uh, a little surgical mask. And um, uh, he may be—he may not be alive, but wait, Sally. I think you're thinking about my most recent social media post that I did of my weekend. <laughs> that, oh, that's wait. exactly the picture that I shared on my Instagram. You might have been amused. <laughs> Was that you me? Been amused. <laughs> oh, it's too—it's too trippy to be a lie. <laughs> okay, coincidence is serendipity. That's what uh. we're here. That's what we're doing here. Serendipity. Uh, Glenn, Glenn. You're uh, waving your arms fur furiously. That vein's getting bigger by the minute here. Glenn, how many of these do we have left in stock? Well, we just have that one plate. Uh, oh but that's what, that's what Nicole just asks is, is there more? But this, this is a one of a kind at this point. Well, there are, there's 17, but it's the only one in the zip code. Uh, yep, exactly, exactly, exactly. Yes. You'd have to go remember to yes. Fresno, uh, Modesto, Stockton, maybe even Reno to get Bakersfield. a, a Yep, yep, in the place right there. Uh, has, has anybody, Glenn, Glenn, has anybody, has anybody yeah. done, done the due diligence of actually bidding on this thing yet? And if they haven't, I am shocked and appalled. Uh, you wake no, up, people. Nobody in the chat has said that they, uh, they will want it, but since we only have one, yeah, if they want to bid for it, they can bid for it. And if we don't get a bid in the next, actually, I won't say that because that won't help anything. But you know what? I'm going to slash a dollar off that thing right now, okay? This is now a $9 plate that has a retail value of at least $4,000, oh, is my estimation. Easy. Well, if I could update the graphics, I would. It's still you don't have, no, on this here. is on the fly, okay? <laughs> we don't have the technology to do that. All of our viewers at home are just going to have to remember. <laughs> this is a $9 plate. And remember this plate. We're going to be able to see this plate, and we're going to be able to bid on it throughout the rest of the show. Okay, so just be, maybe you're a little hesitant now, but maybe throughout the course of the show, you're going to be like, okay, I could see myself eating a Hungry Man dinner off this thing. Uh, we do have someone in the, uh, uh, in the uh, watching online that says $15. Okay, $15. $15. $15. This is amazing. You okay. say it's still a deal. It's yeah. still a deal. It's a deal and a steal. Yeah, you're still getting about 99.999% off if my math is correct. Retail value, $4,000, you're getting it for 15. Okay, <laughs> this is a special, special occasion. Glenn, you, you are quite the man. Are you going around to fart? <laughs> You've left your station, boy. <laughs> Did you have to go do one of those crop dusts that you always talk about? <laughs> 
He went to go drain his vein. <laughs> oh. Go drain the vein. <laughs> yeah. It was about to burst. And was... I'm not talking about his penis, okay? I'm talking about the one that's just pumping like a, like it's like a disco child right off the side of his head. Listen, I'm trying to produce this show right now, okay? So can you guys just focus on... Oh, yes. Ooh, Glenn. Dang. Uh, by the way, we're trying to fix our phone problems. We're trying to fix our phone problems right now, okay? Oh, are people trying to oh. call in? People are absolutely trying to call in right now. Well, this is very exciting, very exciting. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, is there anything else pressing we need to know about the people at home? What are they, uh, what are they stressed on? Well, uh, Shelby says she'll pay $20 uh, for every bump in the air, for every bump in that hair. Uh, uh, Shelby's a big fan of... Uh, of, of the hair tonight, so nicely, nicely, beautifully done. Yeah, where Thank do you go? You. What's, what's the name of your girl your, or your guy that you go to to get that done? Um, so his name is Alexandria. Ooh, yes, yeah. I heard of him. And he's from Sheer Relief. Oh, that's that new place that opened up in, in downtown, is mm -hmm. that correct? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, and he, I do not know where Alexandria is from. I cannot put, I cannot place his accent anywhere. I have no clue where he's from, but oh, can he just style with the best of them? Let me tell you. It's, I love him. He's it, my new best friend. I love him. It's, I gotta say, it's not only beautiful, mm -hmm. but it's also intimidating, okay? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I catch it in the corner of my eye, and I think, I think Usain Bolt is here. Or no, not him, but someone tall, like uh, <laughs> Yao Ming. Sometimes, I think, sometimes we're, in the, we're drinking our martinis before the show, and I get a little glimpse of that hair in the corner of my eye, and I think Yao Ming's come to collect something or beat my ass. <laughs> That's how I get scared <laughs> when we're drinking That's what martinis. I told I said, I want to be as tall as a basketball player. Yeah, with, uh, with double the DUIs, if I do remember correctly. <laughs> The taller the hair, the closer to heaven. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. that's right, that's right. Okay, let's go ahead, let's get Aubrey out here to take this, uh, this thing away. Uh, maybe even get it gift wrapped for our, our, uh, whoever gets to take this thing home. Uh, Aubrey's on her way out. She was trying to get the phone line to work. Uh, hopefully we'll have that wow. ready for the next product. She is a, she is a, uh, a dear saint, okay? Don't take, her, don't take her devilish eyes for her real demeanor, but she is a huge help around this station. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's, uh, she's here, she shows up. Oh, oh will you look yes. at that. Oh. Now, we gotta get those dry cleaned, Aubrey. You can't just be tossing them around the station. Aubrey, keep in mind, someone's gonna buy this. There we go, okay. Okay, yep. Just correct. Aubrey caress it. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Yeah, maybe, maybe pretend like it's like a, a bottle of ecstasy or something. Maybe you, you could give it some more passion. No, I mean, don't actually do... Oh. Aubrey! Oh, oh, that girl's got some piss and vinegar in Aubrey, her. we're live! <laughs> Yep, you did a good job. Now get the fuck out of here, okay? Thanks, Abra. Oh, Glenn, little, hit it. I got a little bit of my sweet tea going, oh. too, okay? This is in a commemorative Star Wars Darth Vader tumbler cup that we have here, okay? This is special order, okay? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll offer it out later, okay? And isn't that heat activated as well? Yes, it's full of BPA. Uh, I think it's 99% BPA and then a little bit of cotton. <laughs> is it? That is great. Uh, are we gonna are we gonna sell the product? Yep. Or? Sorry. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Call Glenn getting on it. Uh, Glenn, go ahead and tell us the name. I already know what this is, but for the people at home, why don't you go ahead and tell them what this is? Uh, this is a heated unislipper. Uh, usually, you have slippers that uh, can move independently, uh, but these two slippers have been sewed so together. Uh, it has a USB cord that heats uh, an element. Um, by the way, this product was uh, somehow given over to a uh, Goodwill. I don't know how it got there. Uh, what I'm saying though is I'd be really careful about uh, the heating element and if it might burn up your house. But it, uh, the official description is brown USB heated stationary slippers because you can't walk around Selling price is six dollars. 
or three easy payments of $2, uh, no returns, no givesies, backsies. Yep. I knew that already. Every single word of it. Okay. That's how much I know this product. Yes. Okay. I actually think that it was me who donated it to the Goodwill. Okay. That's how close I feel to this product. Okay. This is uh, an exceptional piece here. All right. Especially in these cold winter months. Okay. The one thing that goes first, if you're not familiar with your own cardiovascular system, I recommend you looking up a YouTube video or something. Okay. But the first things that are going to get susceptible to uh, freezer burns, uh, <laughs> uh, you know when you when you when your when your limbs turn black, Sally, help me out. What do you call that? Uh, that would be frostbitten. Frostbitten. That's correct. Frostbite. So not freeze the frost. So I think it's I think it's frostbitten. Frostbitten. Past tends to happen. Frostbitten. Mm. Okay. Yes. Yes. But not button bitten. And uh, and the first thing to go is the extremities. Okay, especially the little toesy woesies, the feetsies. Okay, and that's why you need this piece. But I had my Star Wars tumbler out here. And it must be serendipity, okay? Because these aren't just any normal little toesy woesy warmers, okay? This is a Star Wars brand, okay? These are actual Ewok fur that have made up these little slippers, okay? And yes, we know Ewoks is fake. We know this, okay? But the authenticity is there, okay? Someone actually stocked one of those little guys in those Ewok outfits, like a hunter, okay? And they, they took didn't know. They took him down. Mm -hmm. They took it. He, they, he, this they little, didn't see it coming. <laughs> this little guy <laughs> wandered off on break. He was like, <laughs> yeah. oh no. Oh. Yeah. It was he, like that. He wandered off on break during one of the shoots. <laughs> and uh, this, guy, <laughs> this guy took him out. It's very unfortunate. It was in the news. Um, but he went to the, <laughs> decided to skin him. Uh, which was say it was okay because it was just his costume was what he skinned. Okay, the the little guy's uh, his actual epidermis is totally fine. Um, he actually survived the. Uh, it was a bad shot. Okay, kind of just winged him. But anyway, this hunter skinned the costume of an Ewok and then went ahead and crafted these slippers. It's all he had enough to make. That's it. Yeah, That's it's a it. very small yeah. little thing. Okay, Sally, what else you got to say about this product? So the one thing I want you to uh, keep in mind is that these are connected, right? So the best thing is when you've got these on, you're not going anywhere. You are set. You are cozy. You're pl plugged into the wall, so you're definitely not going in there. That's why the mobility doesn't matter, you know? That's why it's, uh, you know, these kind of remind me of the, uh, an alternate use to. Let's say maybe your feet aren't cold but you have a couple of small animals at your home oh, that are cold. That's cute. You just stick them down in these pockets, heads out, heads out paws over, plug it in. That's adorable. And that's all, it could be a hedgehog, a small cat, uh, snakes, um, hamsters, I gotta say too that I have in my own personal experience actually used this because I had um I had bought three burritos because it was buy one get get two free, right? And I was like, I'm not gonna be able to eat all three of these burritos right now. And you you know you gotta eat a burrito when it's hot. So what I ended up doing is I stuck them in this little one in each, one burrito in each, and it kept it warm until I was hungry for the next burrito. And so that's that's endless possibilities that you can do with this product. It's not just for feet, it's for it's for pets and burritos, okay, not just your toes, but also burritos, okay? <laughs> That's, uh, if we, Glenn, if we could just make that the, the little tagline for this piece. Can we I'll add it to the more. packaging, Glenn, uh, um, when we box it? Uh, what, was that, what was your question again? I'm sorry. Can we add that to the packaging? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, oh, great. Yeah, uh, your burritos. Get with the marketing department. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and uh, even if... The USB, this little thing. So this is nice, okay? Um, if it doesn't work, uh, it's okay, because um, it's actually wireless as well, um, because your feet actually heat themselves up, okay? So this is, j you put them inside and then it heats it up like a coal oven. Nature's heat. Yeah. Feet. Yeah, so don't Great. worry, if this doesn't work, um, 
repurpose it, right? This is the new, what, what, these millennials are always trying to, let's repurpose this, let's repurpose that, okay? Yeah. And, uh, you know, if this doesn't work, you, you, you nip, you get a little, some wire cutters, and you nip this little guy off here like you're a, like you're a moil at a circumcision. You won't just, need it anymore, just gone. Just nip it right off. Gone. And turn it into a nice necklace, or maybe if you're uh, very slim, slim a, a little belt. You know, it's up to you, but that's the thing, that you can repurpose stuff, okay? If you don't want the whole piece, that's fine. Maybe you're a one-legged person and you just need half of this slipper. Get your little shears out, okay? And you're a moil at a King Kong circumcision now, because that's a big, you're gonna need to chop, 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 chop. Get that foreskin out of here. <laughs> hey Mitch, do you think Ewoks are circumcised? <laughs> oh my goodness, I have notebooks upon notebooks of fan fiction written about that subject alone. <laughs> and I'll tell you, yes, yeah, sometimes. It depends on the region of Endor, okay? <laughs> oh, Mitch, you know so much. I, I, I had a quick question from a viewer. Yeah, Glenn, go for uh, it. They said, can it, warm, can it warm saggy boobs? I think you're right. You just, you, let's take the product It'll go towards the chest. You'll just take the breast and just tuck it into the one pocket, take the other, tuck it into the other. You can wear this under your shirt, actually. Yeah, it's like a backwards bra. No one will know. It's discreet. It's very discreet. Yeah, it's a, uh, Victoria has her secrets, Sally has hers, okay? This uh, is a, a Sally secret special over here. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, we have a caller on the line. Oh, shit! Our Lynn, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, hi there, go ahead. Hi, um, so I'd like to get those quick warming slippers. Oh, yeah, well, we have, uh, we have just one available for $6, or you can get uh, three easy payments of, uh, of three, uh, three to $2. Oh, I'll, I'll pay right now. Oh. I'll give you my debit card. Okay, and we're... Can you go ahead and say those the debit card number <laughs> out loud for us right now? Yes, please. And if you wouldn't mind the last four, your social and uh, and your first car. Your billing address. <laughs> okay, well, we, we appreciate you calling. Uh, we do need some information. We do need... Uh, just, start, just start saying your credit card numbers. Go ahead. Uh, is the credit card number going to be broadcast on the air? N no. Okay. <laughs> you ready for it? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, hold hold on just a second. Glenn, stop playing with that. Glenn. <laughs> okay, I'm just you gonna rest stop off. playing around, Glenn. I'm just gonna send you over to a customer service agent and they'll take that order for you, okay? Thank you so much. I really want those. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Do we didn't find out the name? Who is this person? Are they a longtime fan, long time where watcher, are you, where first are you time calling caller? From? Yeah, what's your name and uh, where what's are you your calling mother's from? maiden name? <laughs> My name is Patrick, and I'm calling from Midtown, Sacramento. Oh, well, we appreciate you calling in. Are you a fan? I'm, I'm so much a fan. I, you guys are on my big screen TV right now. Oh, no. <laughs> hope, Look out. I hope it's not getting all the pores, okay, because I have not, <laughs> I've not done a facial in two, who knows how long, okay? Things have been shut down. All right, well, we're going to send you we're going to send you over to customer service right now. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. Thank you, sir. Was it Bob? It was, it was Patrick. It was Peter. Pa Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> he's giggling his, he's giggling his little ass off. Now, I, I, heard, I heard him call you Brian. Maybe he's shivering. Oh, maybe. Oh, his, he, his, his toes feet are cold. <laughs> Get him this foot warmer. I, yeah, he's, he's Glenn, okay. can we expedite this? That man might be dying tonight, okay? His we, heat can be turned off. We've had rolling outages around here, okay? Can we not get this man his, his, his comfy foot slippers tonight? Let's just, we'll take, Authentic Ewok. We'll take this uh, product offline right now, and we'll have, uh, uh, we'll go ahead and bring out the next product. Excellent. Abra. Thank you. Thank you. Abra, why don't Peter, you go ahead? Peter, it's coming for you. Let's get that little ray of sunshine Abra out here to take our, uh, get our next product going. Yep. Yep. Oh, Abra, you debutante. Oh. oh, what's going on here? Is this like a... 
we got like a transformer situation going on. Oh my God. Abra, you tease us. Are you fucking kidding me? Where did you find that? That's a find right there, people. Oh, my word. Folks, I, this, wow. This is spectacular. Glenn, tell the people at home with this. Sally and I know this piece very, very well. But go ahead, Glenn, you tell the, I don't even know if I want to get too close to this thing, okay? Uh, this is uh, item number 0124. It is a vintage flak, flask. Uh, the official uh, description is ceramic and old with no cap. Uh, it's selling for $6, no returns, no givesies, backsies. I just have one thing to say. Tell them, tell them, Sally. You are not just getting this flask when you buy this item. Mm -mm. You are also paying for the haunting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the, the ghost of this flask. That's correct. That's why I didn't want to get too close to it. Major spooky vibes off of this one. Yeah, we know this. Piece. I love it. We know this piece very, very well. Yeah. Okay, um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Glenn, what are we selling this thing for? Uh, it's currently going for uh, six, six dollars, or three easy payments of two dollars. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing. Wee wee wee! This is a hot deal alert. Hot deal, hot deal alert. Hot deal. Wee! Hot deal. hot deal alert. Oh my God, that's a hot deal. Six dollars for, for ah. history. Okay, history. Ah. Wee -oo, wee -oo. Man, Glenn, hot deal. man, Glenn hates it when I do that sound. I know. Well, he, he hates it when I spin too. He yeah. says it's a hazard. Yeah. He could get, the studio could be fined if I get injured. And I yeah. say, what of it? Well, yeah. no, nobody, yeah. nobody ever listens to me. No. Nope. So. <laughs> we, we, we. Oh, oh. He absolutely hates that. He says it hurts <laughs> his ears. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> oh my God. The, the energy and the power. Let's I'm getting spin from this. this a little. Can we get yeah. a close shot on this lady? I'm going to spin this slowly. You know her name. Don't call her lady. Oh, I'm so sorry. Tell the people her name. This is Opal. Yep. Opal Pearl. Opal May. Pearl. The Bathing Beauty. Oh, look at, look at this. Now she's sitting on the edge of this. She is sitting on the edge of this like it's just, she's ready. She's like, should I dive in this way or should I dive away? That's Into it. the flask, away from the flask. Yep. She can't make up her mind. That's why she's got her little like cross. Oh my word. Yep. We don't know. It's just like the Mona Lisa smile. We don't know if she's going in or coming out. No. If you look really close, she's winking. Oh, we know, Glenn. Oh, I told you we spent many, many, many nights yes. with this piece. I did not at all think that the paint had come off her eye at all. That is not what I thought. I definitely knew she was flirting. Now, Sally, like I keep telling Glenn, he keeps forgetting. We know this piece intimately. Okay. Do you remember? Do you remember the, the summer of 2009? Actually, a better question is. You probably don't. I don't, was eight right? years old. That's what well, that's right. I'm I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> <laughs> we had a hot summer night. It was it was everyone at the station, and it was also the local Arby's. <laughs> Remember? Mm -hmm. They had a power outage. It was a summer night, they had a power outage because everyone was using their AC. And that Roast beef was gonna go bad. <laughs> you remember that? And they needed people, P heroes is what they needed, to step in and consume that roast beef. And we looked to Opal Pearl May, and she gave us the elixir and the nectar of the gods to be ripe and drunk and able to eat. I'm uh, 75 pounds of roast beef is all I can really imagine. And I, it was like the fish in the loaves in the Bible. It just never ran out. Yeah. They, she passed around the room endlessly, nary to empty, nary. Do you remember that scene in uh, Mary Poppins when she, uh, she gives some, uh, some medicines, 
it was like uh, Robitussin or something to the kids. And each different kid got a different color flavor juice. That's what this was like, okay? Every time you brought this to your lips, it was like Sambuca. Oh, nope, that's Kraken. That's rum from a Kraken. Oh, that's Colt 45. It was incredible, okay? This is like, this is like Mary Poppins' bag of flasks. Like, I can't believe it. Take a smell of that. What are you, what are you getting in there? Does my no nose deceive me, or is that Baja Blast with a little <laughs> bit of... A little bit of something at it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. It it harnesses your deepest, darkest desires. Okay. It gives you. It it, it fills up with the thing that you need most. Okay. Sally smelled it, and what did it give her? Apparently, more Baja Blast because she did not get enough early on in the show. Okay. I'm gonna smell it. What does it give me? An extra week on my child support, okay? That's what it gave me. See, it, it, it just gives you what you need, okay? That's what's so special about this piece. Uh, Glenn, how much are we selling this for? Six? Six dollars? Woo! 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 Hot deal! Hot deal! Alert. Hot deal. Hot deal alert. Oh my Glenn. God, Glenn hates it when Glenn. we do that. Glenn, we love you, Glenn. Glenn, can we do a special for our viewers where they could do six payments of one dollar? Can we do that, Glenn? Yeah, because Tom's is tough, okay? We're in a pandemic. People might be out of work. They might need the extra time. For, uh, we, we can do that for uh, this one product, yeah. Oh, Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. He is a sweetheart, okay? <laughs> oh. He may scream when he uh, goes takes his bathroom breaks, but uh, deep down, he's a sweet boy. Absolutely. I'm going to get some more sweet tea, okay? okay. <laughs> Talking about this thing's got me thirsty, okay? <laughs> so y'all need... This is going to... This is going to make... Or break your life, okay? <laughs> Look at it. Sally's going for it, okay? She's she's getting that, that the memory. Fumes. Yeah, dude, I, I'm, I, I'm starting it's to I'm starting plate. to smell that roast oh my beef. Gosh. <laughs> it's the ye old plate fumes. Oh, those sweet, sweet ye old plate fumes. I love it. It gives you what you want. I love it. Look at this pin striping. Look at this. This craftsmanship. And if we haven't sold it yet. There's one more thing that we didn't tell you about, okay? Yes, this rectangular body here fills up with the elixir of the gods. But Sally, why don't you go ahead and tell them if you, if you twist off the top of this, this uh, what's inside the body, okay? What, you, you, you drink on this and then what are you getting when you nip off of that, huh? So if you take a little, uh, little pop the top of an opal maze head, you get the devil's snow. <laughs> I can't say it on live TV. They've, oh, already, no, you they've know, already warned me. You know about seven other nicknames for that. Why don't you just go ahead and rattle them off here? Okay, we yeah. Devil Snow's one. Uh, uh, old Fun Dust. <laughs> old Fun That's Dust. The second yeah. one. And uh, uh, also uh, the. Uh, the <laughs> The um. It's the ye old plain fumes, Nick, I'm <laughs> <Yeah>. telling you. <laughs> no, you said one. It was the um. The um. Uh, uh, um. Is this cocaine? <laughs> uh, the officer comes up and you go, officer, um, like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, you know. And uh, also the, uh, the, uh, the uh, mama's white juice. <laughs> yeah. Dehydrated juice. Yeah, if you ever find yourself uh, in the alleyways of Stockton, California, mm. and that's uh, what the name you drop. Yeah, that's what you're gonna want to say when you go. To, when you, if you're looking for some of that Devil Snow, you're gonna be like, um, "Excuse me, you play that Hey Mister game. Remember, Hey Mister, let me get some of that white mama juice. <laughs> Is that what? Dehy I'm yes, Mama's <laughs> white dehydrated. Yeah, those words. Yes. Also. Uh, Powdered toothpaste. Mm, mm -hmm. That one's uh, whenever you're at a dental convention. Mm -hmm. You use that one. <laughs> yeah. Just help me with the help me with the other ones. That was all. I of need them. some more hummingbird you juice. You did it. That was it. I really put you on the spot there, <laughs> and you did a great job. Glad. What's happening in the comments? How many people have been on the? Uh, don't. Oh my God. Don't tell me we're in a bidding war. Okay. We've what? seen enough war. I don't want this to be a bidding war. Only one, one person has says that they'll pay $6.66 for it. 
Oh, uh, we have had for the devil's snow. You <laughs> we, get the devil's number for the devil's snow. But uh, tons of people have asked if it comes with a, a haunting for your house. Will your house be haunted when you mm -hmm. buy it? We did not even really talk a lot about the haunting. No, nope. well, that's because you, you can't, you don't want to talk too much on it, right? It's like, it's like when you do the, uh, you go on the mirror and you say Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody, Bloody Mary. It's, it's, we, work, we would be conjuring this, this ghost if we talk about it too much, but we can talk about it a beat. Go, Sally, go ahead and talk about it. So, uh, once upon a time, little Opal Pearl May was actually a real human woman. Yeah. <laughs> And then she was cursed mm -hmm. and shrunk down and put on this. Um, it was she had a scorned lover. Mm -hmm. He was a pet shop owner. Yep. And she scorned him. Mm -hmm. She went to a box store, and he was a small business. And so, um, as you know, pet shop owners, most of them are warlocks. Yep. And That's how they're able to. Uh to tame all them animals, okay? Because mm. you're, you're dealing with lizards and, and, and fish and birds and squirrels and all kinds of things. You need to be either Dr. Doolittle or a or fucking warlock. warlock. That's it. Those are your options. And those Wait. are facts. Yes, yeah, so uh, he, f he found out that she bought some cedar chips from the, um, cedar chips from a, a p pet mart mm -hmm. instead of his place, mm -hmm. and, um, and he did this to her. Yep, that's right. Exactly, and then he made her unique, unlike the box store. And I remember, uh, I remember when I was in high school. Okay, I got a brand new Chevy Corvette from my daddy, and I'm driving down an old dark road. Okay, and I see a girl, fair, fair skin, like porcelain glass. One eye. On the side she's of the road. Winking. One eye. Yep. And I pull over, and I was like, "Do you need a ride?" And she says, "I do." And I give her a ride, and we have the most elegant conversation I've ever had in my life. And I drop her off at her house, and I notice that she left her letter, letterman jacket in my car. I go back the next day to, re to return it to the house, and an old woman answers the door. And she says, what? No. Opal Pearl May died 30 years ago. 30. <sighs> 30. Do you get, are you getting the chills in here? I'm going to need that foot warmer. <laughs> I don't know. My I'm going to need, I'm going to just, it, can we, can someone call Pete and tell him I'm going to use it? And it'll actually, the value will go up, Pete. I'm, I'm, I was once in a, uh, a magazine ad for um, uh, Shake a Puddin'. It is a uh, puddin' in the, um, I got to, I got to get warmed up. I'm too cold. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, thank God. We're getting loosey goosey now. Thank God. We're getting loosey goosey oh. now. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, Abra, let's get this. I can't even get close to it, okay? I got, I got electricity coming off this thing, okay? Uh, Maybe I ahead. can plug this into it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No? Do not okay, do that, I won't. Okay? <laughs> okay? I won't do it. This place is not insured, okay? <laughs> we cannot, so we cannot risk it. Let's again. Let's make Glenn sweat. Say, oh, oh, Abra's here. Okay. Oh, Abra's here. Yeah, speaking of, speaking of chills, here's Abra. <laughs> Ice queen. <laughs> yeah. It's like Baskin Robbins back there. Two scoops of ice queen, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 32 flavors of yikes. Come on. <laughs> we do this all day, peoples. Oh. Um, hey, we got a special, we got a special uh, segment that we do every single show. You know this if you've seen it, okay? It's like Antique Roadshow. But it's our version of it. And we have one of our very special viewers from home come in. And they're going to bring an item that they have, a keepsake, a memento, uh, something that they think is valuable. They're going to bring it out here. And the experts that we are, Salad Dealer and myself, Mitch Pitchman, we're going to go ahead and we're going to praise this. And we're going to give her a backstory on this product right here. Okay, so without further ado, let's please welcome, this is a huge fan of ours, okay? We get mail from her constantly. Uh, we even had to do a cease and desist for a little bit, but then that was totally fine. Um, please, welcome. Charlene Good. Charlene Good. Oh my God. Wait, you gotta get a microphone, baby. This for me? This little thing? Yep. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I am here. Woo, girl! With the twos of yous. Oh my goodness. This is what I'm talking about. I'm absolutely excited. Look, I tried to get my hair as high as yours. 
yours one day. And as gray as yours. Oh, yeah, darling, you're doing it, okay? Why don't we go ahead? Uh, Sally, you take you take the lead on this one, okay? Here you go. Give us a little backstory on what you brought in for us today. Well, it was just the weirdest day ever. It was there was a twister coming over in Park City, and uh, me and my husband Ray Ray went down to the cellar. And uh, after the twister came over and uh, completely wrecked our house, they're sitting on our mailbox, which was the only thing left on our property, oh my was God. this dish. Oh my God. Oh my word. So let me tell you exactly about this, okay? This is a circa 1619 piece of glassware Ooh, that's from hot. Appalachia, Ohio. Yep. Now, these swirls are actually like a reminiscent of like a trilobite, right? So it's got, this has actually been, in, the 16, in 1619, the glass workers used to use fossils before they knew that they would be good for other things later, fossil fuels. And they uh, used to put them in their glassware. Oh, and it still has some of the residue where it looks like one of the glass workers sneezed on it. Oh, the glass workers? Yes. Oh my goodness. All right, Sally, let me tag in there, okay, because I'm, I'm bursting at the seams. This is such a piece. I need you to, I need you to. I'm coming right in here. You're not going to believe I'm this. I'm coming right in here, okay. I can't believe you have this piece, okay. I've not seen a piece like this <laughs> since prom night, okay. So, <laughs> tell me again, where did you get it? So, uh, it just appeared after a twister on top of the mailbox, and my husband, Ray Ray, uh, he, he, he was the one that told me that after he Googled it, he thought it was from aliens, mm -hmm. uh, but he likes that, that alien show that he watches all the time. That's all he does. Doesn't have no job no more. Ray Ray. Oh, I, I hear that. Okay. I got a cousin that's the same way. Okay. What are you going to do? So I'll tell you one thing that's very special about this bowl. Okay. It was not made by aliens. That's incorrect. But it does have some extra, ex, extraordinary and extraordinary powers, okay? You see how the, it has the, the, the spiral that's in there? Yes. So when the, when the twister came and just destroyed your entire livelihood, destroyed your house and your wedding pictures and maybe a couple pets too, I'm not sure. A hamster. A hamster. I felt it in your voice that you yeah, did, that very... you had lost something special. But you gained something even more special. The, the, the swirls of this bowl, it, it, it went with, it went with the, the twister, okay? okay? And was able, and it wrote it. It wrote it like Keanu Reeves in Point Break, okay? Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, me too, baby, me too, okay? I got it on Blu-ray, okay? This thing, it wrote it. It, it, rode, it rode the high wave and the low wave, okay? And it was like the Silver Surfer, right? Just zooming around this twister, knocking out cows, because you got cows and you probably killed your hamster. Actually, now that I smell it, there's definitely hamster blood on there, okay? So this is what took out your hamster. Oh, no. Cut his head off, clean like a guillotine, okay? But it ended up being so special that it survived because of that. And um, it has some very special uh, um, history, too, on it. Okay, uh, Sally, why don't you go ahead and tap in here. Tell, tell her about the history of this bowl oh a little bit Oh my goodness, more. this is just the best information ever. I'm so appreciative to both of you. I can't believe that you have my dish here on your show. I can't believe that I only saw the glass maker's sneeze residue and missed the hamster blood. That's on me, that's why, we, that's why we both have our areas of expertise. Yes, but this Maybe. bowl is like an onion. It's got layers We're and layers of history. We're back histories. the layers. Exactly. The information, where it came from. So, um, have you ever heard of sedimentary rock? Uh, no. Okay, so oh. uh, sedimentary ro locks, rocks formed in layers, limestone shale, when broken pieces of matter, push and squeeze together, changing rocks, <laughs> changing rocks. Okay, so. Now I, now I get it. Yes. yes, so like I said, this cir circa 1619, yes. so that first layer set in, right? And then afterwards, it traveled across the plains, made its way to Nebraska. <gasps> Nebraska. Okay. Uh, where it was actually used as a chamber pot. A chamber? That's for, that's for using the restroom in. So, oh, it's it, a piss pot. Yes. And see, the, the shape, 
so you don't sit on it like this. It goes front to back mm. like this. Front oh, wow. to back like that. You see that? Yes, it's a perfectly you good see, it shape. Covers, it covers the front and the back. <laughs> so you can go number you one catch, and number you two. You catch everything all at once. <laughs> and the people of Nebraska would, um, they would use the bathroom in this and then they would just toss their feces and their uh, urine <laughs> and their hamster blood. Everything out the window. So a shit bull killed my hamster. <laughs> it might have been the cows in the twister, but it could have also been this. Yeah. You know what? This all now, after this layer, that layer happened, after Nebraska, do you want to know what, what happened? Oh, absolutely. I'm listening. Mitch. Mitch. Come on. So excited. Choo, 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 choo. So Nebraska, <laughs> and it was a shit pot. Fantastic. That's right. Shit pot. And a piss. Piss and shit pot. You can do both. Well, anything that comes out of your, uh, your bathroom area got caught in this bowl. Okay? okay. I'm saying everything. Oh. Right? So. Toots. Everything? Toot toot. So, this bowl was very special, okay? Because, as we know, John Adams was our second president of the United States. Yes, yeah, see, I'm a uh, descendant of the great John Adams. Get this out This is so town. wild. Yeah. I am too. You are too. I am too. What? This is wild. Oh, my word. I'm a Grover Cleveland guy, but that's fine. <laughs> this is exciting news. I know. So. This must be why it's in your family. I didn't know you were a descendant of John Adams. I guess. So, as we know, John Adams, he had a son. He had a son, John Quincy Adams, mm -hmm. who also became president of the United States. Those are the things that we know. Those are the things that they'll tell you in a textbook. What they won't tell you is that making John Quincy Adams was more difficult than some say it was worth. <laughs> I don't say that because I think he was a great president. Yeah, that's why I just gave him the Quincy because he was worth it. John Quincy, yeah. But some people say it wasn't worth it, but I think it was. So, John Adams was unable to uh, keep an erection for long enough to excrete his semen into his wife and then thusly create a baby. So what they did is John Adams... I think looking at like a bark, uh, a sketch in a piece of bark of a naked lady, he cummed inside this bowl. <laughs> oh my God, my, my ancestor jizzed in the shit bowl that killed my hamster? This is the best day of my life. This is the best day of my life. I cannot believe I'm learning all this history about my family. It's emotional is what oh it's making goodness. me. It's making me emotional. Yep, John Ams, he jizzed in, inside this bowl. And, uh, and, and, uh, and their, uh, their, uh, their, their wet nurse, they, she was a wetter nurse than usual that oh, day. Yeah, extra wet nurse. <laughs> extra wet nurse. She took a spatula of sorts, made out of uh, mahogany, and I think it was goat intestine, and she ladled it into uh, John Adams' wife. Mrs. Adams? Mrs. Adams, yes. yes. Well, she was spread eagle. And, uh, but also pointed north, because that was... You couldn't have a. You couldn't get pregnant unless you're pointed. Unless your uh, your uterus was pointed north back then. So um, that's what they did. They scooped it right out, right inside of her. Gave her a good shake, <laughs> like, a, <laughs> like a martini, and uh, and we were blessed with the fifth, maybe the sixth president of the United States. I don't remember. <laughs> He's either the fifth or the sixth. It, important, not so much the number, but of his legacy. It, that that's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Glenn, let's get in here. Uh, uh, Dennis is watching, and he would like to offer $50 because he's pretty <gasps> sure that they're going to make a musical of this one day like <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> oh, this is a piece of history. The story of John Adams and his jizz bowl. <laughs> yeah. And you still get notes, Sally. Give this thing a whiff. Tell me you don't smell semen. I smell Baja Blast, that's it. <laughs> that's <laughs> well, you know I, what? I, I think I'm, it's in your hair tips. I don't know. <laughs> I, think you, uh, I think it's in your skin at this point. You drink so much Baja Blast freezes. 
Um, this is very exciting. Very excited. I, I just thought it was some bowl. And like I said, Ray Ray thought it was an alien bowl. And I said, no, it's no alien bowl. It's something no. much greater than that. And now I know it's about my descendants. Yep. And so it's time for the appraisal. Okay. Dennis kind of jumped the gun there and he put on an offer for it. And it's scary. Okay. Because I would have appraised this at exactly $50. $50? <laughs> that's what I'm oh, talking about, baby. Goodness. But it, you tell me if that's worth your heritage. Okay. You tell me. And I, I believe that before you brought it in, you've been keeping hard candies in this. Is that right? Unwrapped hard candies. <laughs> Unwrapped hard candies. Yes, for all the injured my household. Yeah, for all, all the neighborhood kids to grab oh, a fistful of <laughs> shit, piss, and jizz covered hard candy. <laughs> where there's originals, no wrappers. That's, that's what, what I, I swear. That's what this show will bring you is history. Rich, rich history. All right, girl. I'm gonna have to keep it. it. I don't think believe that I could ever part with it. You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to. Hey Ray Ray, maybe we could pull a Mr. and Mrs. Adams when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> Look out! <laughs> hey, let's give it up. Let's give it up for Charlene Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to keep writing us, Charlene. Oh yes, of course. Thank All you. My uh, cameraman, can we, can we start to wrap this thing up? It's running late. We don't have any more products to sell, okay? Glenn, it's so nice to see you on camera. Wait, get your... Get your Glenn, back your, on the camera. Get your shit brown eyes back on, the, on camera. <laughs> Let the people see who you are. Listen, I, uh, the guy on the camera's uh, on Union. We got to get him out of here. Uh, yeah, overtime, yes, he's getting very upset, so... Uh, all right, I'm just going to go back to my table. <laughs> wow, Glenn. Bye. Thank you. Oh, man, you can clearly see my nipples on camera. <laughs> I think it was the arousal of our, our, the history that we just gave you about that bowl. Okay, I think that's, because you were, you were sitting pretty flat there, I noticed, before we started talking about the shit piss jizz bowl. And then you were about 10 and 2 right after that. Bam! bam. <laughs> so, that, th look, those are demons you're going to need to work out on your own, Glenn. We don't have time for that. Uh, okay. Sally, why don't you go ahead and, uh, uh, and uh, get, us, get us wrapped up here. What, what, what did we learn tonight? Well, we learned that Mama needs more than a, a medium drink for the night because I am all out. But I guess our time's up anyway. So, I just want to thank you... Tune in next time to see uh, ye present plate, ye future, and ye new plates. Uh, mm. We'll have those in. Thank you for everyone for uh, your, your purchases. We love selling you these items. We, lo we, we live love for it. it. We live we for love it. We love it. And just um, thank you uh, to the Ewoks and their families for their sacrifice. Thank you for your service. <laughs> thank you for the greatest sacrifice we could ask for. <laughs> it was great. Uh, this, yeah. sh this show gets me so emotional because we, 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 we breathe and we sweat good deals. Deals. And, just, we, and we did it tonight, didn't we? Yeah. We brought a family history back. Yeah, we to, brought a family closer yes. than it was before. I'm pretty sure they're going to use the bowl. For, for the something. way God intended it to be used. So. Not for hard candy. It's great. But for hardcore something else. It's great. And um, so thank you, viewers. Thank you. Thank you, Alexandria, for mm. making sure I look good on camera. Thank you, Best Glenn. Best in the business. Glenn, thank you so much. Yes. And what, do you, what are people saying in the comments? Have we, have we sold our lot tonight? Uh, yeah. What's going on? Are we going to have to go into back payments? Everybody wants to do this again. And uh, um, someone, someone offered me 65 cents and a chewed piece of uh, gum just to take me home tonight. Uh, uh, Glenn, you're not going to get a better deal than that. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. I am your best friend. I don't think so. But that is, that is the best deal you're going to get tonight. Okay. Well, I, I think everyone's just excited to uh, buy products next time. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we do, okay? We pitch it. We deal it. And you buy it. That's what we do here. Thank you so much, our camera operator, Andrew, from the AV Club, here helping us out. Thank you. Abra, 
just, uh, she's, she's tormented is the best thing I can say. She's tormented, but she's a sweet, sweet girl, okay? Old I, soul. I saw her rescue a squirrel off the side of the road, okay? So she has a heart of gold. She just is maybe a, a tough nut to crack is all. But thank you to her. Thank you to Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. You're, thank you, Glenn. You're welcome. Thank you to Charlene Good. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna run the end credits for coming okay? all the way yeah, here. Yeah, we're just gonna keep thanking people. Okay. Thank you for.